Gravity is a ubiquitous feature of our everyday lives. Everything we do is influenced by gravity. And the effects of gravity are very easy to observe. All you have to do is hold something up in the air and let go of it to see the influence of gravity. But what is gravity really? Described as a force, gravitational force, and it is a force that causes objects with a mass to be pulled towards each other. The formal description of gravity is, comes from this equation, which says that gravitational force equals a constant g, which is the gravitational constant, times the mass of the two objects that are being attracted to each other, divided by the square of the distance between them. So you can see it's an equation that has th three different variables, and so gravitational force will change depending upon the values it put placed into this equation. The other thing we all learn is that near the Earth's surface, gravity causes objects to accelerate towards the Earth at a constant rate of 9.8 meters per second squared. So in this sense, gravity is a constant, not a variable force. So the question becomes, how do we jive these two statements? And the answer is, comes from the fact that on or near the surface of a planet such as Earth, the mass of the objects we are dealing with are disproportionate, meaning the gravitational attraction between, say, this rubber ball and the Earth. In this situation, the mass of the rubber ball is essentially irrelevant because the Earth is so big. The Earth has a mass of six times ten, around on the order of six times ten to the twenty-four kilograms. So it's a huge mass. It's also very large. It's got a diameter of over 6,000 kilometers. So in a situation where you have one very large object, such as a planet, and a relatively small object with relatively little mass and a small diameter, this gravitational force equation simplifies to really being driven by the mass of the larger object and the diameter or size of the larger object, effectively making it a constant again, in the situation where we're on or near the surface of the Earth. Keeping in mind, on or near the surface of the Earth, since the diameter of the Earth is over 6,000 kilometers, changes in distance from the surface of the Earth on the order of hundreds or even thousands of meters don't change the force of gravity by a amount that's very easy to measure. So the implications of acceleration due to gravity being constant means that you can take different objects, all with different masses, so they all have different weights, in this case something weighing much less than a kilogram, something that weighs on the order of two kilograms, and something that weighs almost 2,000 kilograms. And were we to drop all three of them, they would fall at the same rate. They would all accelerate at 9.8 meters per second squared. This is, of course, ignoring other forces, most notably air resistance. And again, this is because when you're looking at something the size of the Earth, even an object with a mass of several thousand kilograms, such as the car, that mass is irrelevant and their size is irrelevant because the planet is so much larger and so much more massive than they are. So once we have this understanding that at least in the space of, of the case of being near a planet's surface, acceleration due to gravity is a constant. It allows us to explore the relationships between this constant acceleration, the distance objects travel over different periods of time, and their velocity.